All right. What All do right, you got? Speaking of of basketball, uh, we have we've crowned two champions in the respective sports this week. We didn't talk about it because you went on about two girls one cup for way too long mm-hmm, yesterday. Mm-hmm. So first off, the Denver Nuggets beat out the Miami Heat for the mm-hmm. NBA Finals. Two time MVP Nikola Jokic mm-hmm. also named Finals MVP. And by the way, he is probably the exact opposite of Bill Walton. Mm. Uh, if you look at any interviews that that he has afterwards, he's just like, "All right, yeah, we did it. No, no, we just got to go home. Yeah, I'm fine." No, I and they were like, guy. "No, the parade's Thursday." Oh yeah, we have. And that he's club. like, "No, this. I'm not going to the parade." <laughs> yeah, so we actually have somebody telling him when the parade is, in, and him finding out in real time when the parade yeah. is. It's pretty great. Sorry, I stepped on your. Oh clip. no, it's okay. So yeah, this is during the uh, press conference, like just. What you are feeling right now, and if you're looking forward to a parade coming up in Denver. Men's parade? <laughs> Men's parade. When Thursday. Is... No. <laughs> I need to go home. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> he is so Where is he from? He is Where is like, he from? Bulgaria? Serbia. Serbia. Oh. <laughs> he actually yeah. lives Sounds in like Serbia. Sounds like Arnold so, a little bit. Oh, so he's going back to... He wants to go home to Serbia. Uh, he's like, oh, I'm done. I, I, I clocked it. in. Now I can clock out. I, I, I won the championship. It's Denver's first championship in the uh, He just wants NBA. to get out of there, huh? Yeah. So, in when fact, is, like, there's this really parade. great clip of him. Like, yeah. everybody's spraying champagne. They have the goggles in the locker room. And then he grabs a bottle. Um, and uh, and he grabs a and he decides okay let's see how we do this all right there we go all right now let's move on let's move on I'm with him I, I'm I'm with him like it's fucking work and he's tired you yeah know? he's it, playing all four quarters I've never been to a rap party for a show I've worked on I'm like really? no I'm gonna go do stand up tonight I'm gonna go see my family who I haven't seen because we've been working all season Fair. I don't go to award shows I've won four Emmys daytime Emmys it was not at any of the ceremonies. Really? Yeah, really? Don't do it. Didn't go to the daytime <laughs> Emmys? Why? I would go to it. Four Emmys. What shows? Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You won the uh, daytime. Yeah. Oh, You're you probably jaded go to by that. that bittersweet. I think you can call that one bittersweet. <laughs> sure. Is yeah. that a little of a protest about what we now know Ellen to be like? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, it, there was there was no love. There was no love. Yeah. I uh, I just did a joke on my... I did a show in New York on my birthday. L- literally, it was Saturday night or whatever it was a few nights ago. And was I, Booker T. Washington there? Yeah, in the MGs. Mm-hmm. And I said, uh, I said, like, I don't celebrate my birthday. We celebrate Achievement Day because everyone's been born. And, and why... <laughs> you know, it's not a distinction. Yeah. And by the yeah. way, the worst... People in the world, Hitler, Stalin, Mussolini, yeah. Ellen, they've all been born. <laughs> <laughs> Got a good laugh. Yeah. I was on to her years and years and years ago. Yeah. Years and years. I used to get into my daughter's bed and cry. Look, I, I am telling everybody all the fucking time, you can always tell what a... Daytime shows like what a nighttime shows like what a household is like Mm -hmm. by how fearful the people are like like sometimes I remember certain jobs I did with like for like when I was a carpenter for like certain celebrities you know if this and if the celebrity was an asshole. I'd, you know, pull up the driveway and start like unloading my truck, you know, back it up into the garage and start like unloading. And the fucking nanny or the mm-hmm. assistant would come running out and be like, duh, duh, uh, whoa, 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 yeah. she's going to be coming home. You know, and I was like, yeah, I got six sheets of plywood here. I'm not going to park up the hill and like schlep them all. I'll just take me five minutes. I'll give you But if she pulls up, it's like, oh, she, she's a cunt. It's an asshole. That guy's a dick. She's a bitch. Yeah. You know She's what I mean? That's that's what yeah. happens when mm-hmm. you work for fucking scary people. Right. Yes. You get scared. Everyone. Yeah. And when you'd go to Letterman, everyone was scared shitless. They would not want to go to his office. They don't want to talk to him. They don't want to see him. It was they were scared. They used to clear the hallways. I remember I did the show a bunch of times and they would always say, Yeah, PA would come down, clear the hallways, clear the hallways. Mm-hmm. And so then one time I was coming. I'd finished the show and I was coming up the hallway and he was coming down and somebody had not told me and he just looked at me and he just he just looked at me like this and he shook his head. I go thanks, Dave. And he just he just shook his head. Are you serious? You just did a show and you yeah, did that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't understand that mentality. Yeah. Why can no one else be in a hallway? 
Yeah. Right. No, but like seriously, I could see on the way to the stage, maybe because but, like he's got a monologue he just learned. He doesn't need somebody saying something stupid that's going to get in his head before he goes on. I mean, that I can sort after. of understand, but I still just don't understand that mentality of yeah. people that you can't make direct eye contact. Yeah, you can't say hello. I just was the photographer I was just working with. She was working with um, Jayla John Legend. Yeah, oh. and. All of his people, it wasn't really John, all of his people were like, she's a photographer, and they were like, do not introduce yourself to him. Don't even talk to him. She's like, being a photographer, especially if you're following someone around the entire day, it's kind of a very personal thing. Yeah. And I can't go up to him and say, hi, I'm so-and-so, and and I'm going to be, wasn't allowed to. She did it on her own, and it was totally fine, and people were freaking out that she did that. But it was like, what do you mean you can't? Can't say hello to someone that you're like working with. What yeah, you- that means he's a fucking douche. Yes, but like, and Chrissy Teigen's a bitch, and they <laughs> fucking deserve each other. But whenever yeah. I hear him talk, I'm like, oh, you guys are dicks, both of you. And I do love that they're both super woke because the fucking wokesters are always the biggest dicks in the world, I which I can't it. stand because they're never they're talking about love and harmony yeah. and a seat at the table, not at their fucking table. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Conversely, you can then go to places like Kimmel's or The Tonight Show with Leno. It's a t- totally different vibe. It's completely different. I mean, you can, and 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 that's who they are. Like, if you call Jay Leno's shop, I had a guy who came in from Indiana or something, and he's like, "My life's dream is to go see Jay Leno's garage," and I said. Uh, when are you going to be in town? He's like, Wednesday or something. I said, me and my dad. And I said, fine, we'll go. But he kept getting nervous and would call me to go, did you talk to Jay? Is it okay? Is it okay? And I'd go, I don't need to talk to Jay. We'll just go. And he's like, yeah, but you got to tell Jay, the guy from Indiana and his dad are coming to, what if he's doing something or busy or in a bad mood or something? I said, it doesn't matter. He'll either be there or he'll not be there. I'll just call and we'll just show up. And I'll ring the bell and Bernard will answer the phone and he'll go, come in there and I'll go, where's Jay? And Bernard will go, he's, I think he's around here somewhere or he he set himself on fire and he's (laughs) on his motorcycle getting clothesline (laughs) or he's in Nebraska doing a corporate gig. It doesn't matter. We're just going to go. Now, obviously you never do that in a million years with Letterman or Ellen because there'd be a fucking ton of shit. And when I did Ellen, I just remember sitting in the, green room and one scared person after the next would come in to talk to me they're all scared and, yeah. and i was just sitting there going well first off you have the nicest woman in the world because i see her dancing at the beginning of her show <laughs> yeah. so she's yeah. always in a have good a little mood. fun today have a little fun yeah her whole thing is like right. be good humans and love and fun and she's dancing and the and they've just come in and i could see they were concerned like they they were scared, they were scared. That, that's what it yeah. is like when you would do the tonight show You'd be out there. I remember being out there, like r- doing some run, th- running through a bit with with Jay, and it's like a couple, of, like his head rider would be sitting there, and Jay like do the joke or something, and his head rider would be like, "Jay, you're screwing it up. You should do it again. You're not, you're not doing it right." And like Jay would be like, well, 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 "You want me to emphasize something? Yeah, do it." Just do it again. You didn't do it good. And he'd be like, okay, I'm trying again. And I'm like, oh, my God. I thought I was going to fucking get something, the shoe thrown at him or something. And then, you know, later on, it's like you're in the dressing room and Jay's coming by. And he's like, I said hi to Tim Allen. I said hi to you. You know, like, it was easy. But Ellen... Mm. I like I could see it in their eyes, like when they came in. Like everyone's like, "You're not, you're not going to talk about this." Huh? <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, you guys are all scared." And the reason you're all scared is because the person at the top is fucking horrible. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the reason that person dances is to compensate for being a horrible person, right. at least knowing they are inside and wanting to project something different. Was it to just the world. fear? It was just fear every day there. Yeah, everybody was scared. All the time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Rosie O'Donnell's show was that way. Yes. Too. I've heard that too. Yeah. Everyone Same producers. Same producers. Yeah, everyone's just Yeah. Why do they think creativity scared. can like be born through fear? Like I like it that Especially it comedy. comedy. Everybody's yeah, supposed comedy. to be funny. And it, if you're scared, it's very hard to be funny. It's very hard yeah. to be funny. Why do they think that that's I don't the know. best way to it? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's their own fear, you know. It's like I think people put people on edge because they want to wall up. 
because they're not. It's like you said. What if what if Jay's in a bad mood? Well, right. Jay doesn't really. Jay's comfortable with himself, so his moods don't wildly fluctuate, and he doesn't have to protect himself from right. you know somebody randomly saying hi. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that, it's like God forbid. Like, but that's like you, those stories are just all over. You can't yeah. say hi. You can't make eye contact. Yeah, with that's people. Lauren Hill. I know people in the music industry. Like when Lauren Hill would come to the building, no eye contact, and if you had to address her, Miss Lauren Hill. Really? Oh, God, yeah. these people are the worst. I thank God, John Legend. I, I was always like, Chrissy Teigen is so bad, and he's such a sanctimonious prick actually, all the time. I don't know. He's not. So, he wasn't mean because my friend introduced herself. It was fine. Everything was fine. It's the people. That's what I mean. That whole, I think so many people are scared of yes, what could happen. But it, it fosters the. It, it's a top down thing, right? It's true. And he he no, nobody is just sort of, you know. Night Rider evil twin. Right. You know what I mean? Like they'll meet people and they'll be pleasant and they'll be whatever. And then your friend will leave and then they'll be shitty to the people a- right. around them, which then scares them for right. the next person who shows up. But then when the next person shows up, the caterer, the photographer, right. they go, no, Chris Teague was nice. Right. She helped me unload <laughs> yeah. the van, you know, or whatever. And then they leave and then they start yelling at yeah. people. That's, that's how it works. And that's why they're scared. But if they're scared, it's always... For a reason. There is, yeah, it's true. I've had a couple of people in my life go, you scare me. And I always go, God, I wish that were true. God, I wish, I wish. God, do I wish. And they go, why? And I go, because you would do some of the things I ask you to do. Yeah. Because when a kid is scared or wife is scared or an employee is scared, they do shit the boss asks them to do. Yeah. So if you were scared, then you would do the stuff. <laughs> so you can say you're scared, but I know you're not because you would do things that I asked you to do. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Where yeah. are we? Anyway, so y- Jokic. Uh, Jokic. By the way, it looks really unconventional. Not doesn't really have the the body of an athlete. Except mm-hmm. he's, he is six eleven. Uh, so the reason that he wants to go home so quickly is because on Sundays he horse races, and no. that's his passion. That's his church. Mm. He has to go oh, home. And that's <laughs> Moses. His dog, his horse's name is Moses. Yeah, and that's that's what it, that's what he really loves. So he the looks, basketball is just work. well, he doesn't horse race. No, he's, he's, he's chariot or whatever. Yeah, they yeah. Well, I think it. he does race as well. I mean, he doesn't ride he the horse. Yeah, he can't ride a no, horse. He's larger the, than yeah, the horse. He yeah, People that are listening at home yeah. know that he does the. What do they call that? Is that chariot? I think it's chariot, right? Chariot no, I think in Rome they called it chariot. I think now they call it. It, it's big. It's big in New Jersey, New York. It's like, it it's like a, yeah, it's like an East Coast thing. They don't uh, really harness don't, harness racing. Harness. Come on, Chris, prep, man. Let's go. Everyone I, just calls it horse racing. I know it's not. He's not I, a little jockey on a, top of a saddle. Oh but God. He, well, no, they don't call. They call it harness racing. Every it's, article it's not says really he going loves very fast. going home it's to race horses. No, I I would have thought he'd go to D.C. Re- because uh, he's a senator. <laughs> yeah, Did you know that? know that? Yeah. No. He, but for people that are listening, he's harness racing because yeah. you can't picture a seven foot guy <laughs> no. who's three hundred pounds he... on top of a horse, which I would call horse racing. If I was yeah. writing an article, I would make a fucking distinction between being pulled in a wagon behind a horse and actually <laughs> that horse wasn't even riding going a horse. If I was a giant man, yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> yes, and it looks like it was made in the nineteenth century. Know, what is that? <laughs> it's very Eastern European. That was like a yeah. handmade. Basket, like what yeah. is that? Yeah, that he's pulling. It looks like he should be tending to crops simultaneously. Yeah. Oh, he wants to harness race, so they say, but the contract won't allow him. Oh, because he could oh, get yeah. injured. Yeah, to do it now. If they do, let me tell you what I know about harness racing. I know nothing. Zero. That's Took right. me a minute to figure out the name, and I didn't even know they don't really do it out here. But I would hear it out of tracks in the east. For some reason, it was a bigger thing regionally in certain places. Out here, they do horse racing with the jockey, and then we shoot the horse. But that, here, <laughs> mm, other places, they do loses. harness racing. But here would be my bet. You would say, well, this guy is seven foot tall and 265 pounds. Okay. Um, now... He's got another guy in the harness next to him that's five foot tall and 107 pounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how's his horse ever going to win? I bet they had weight. 
to, to the other I guy? bet there's weight that's yeah. added. So yeah. that they're all the same weight. So that they're, they're all the same weight is what I would assume. But then in that's kind of not racing. fair that the heaviest guy, whether he's fat or just whatever, he <sighs> basically dictates what the weight is, then, is what you're saying? I think so. I think it's funny when you think about horses, like people are like, why do those horses run so fast? It's like, well, because if they lose, they get shot. <laughs> mm-hmm. And if they win, they get to fuck other horses. Oh, oh yes. But right. they can't make eye contact with other horses yeah. that have lost. I yeah. think it's better than fuck other horses. I think it's get jacked off by a farmer. Oh, easily. They better. do do that. They do it. I've watched it. Yeah, because yeah. fucking horses, any wild horse can do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But getting a handy from a <laughs> middle-aged guy. Especially when you have hooves. You're like, yeah. this is amazing. Yeah, this is amazing. You got a yeah. thumb. Oh, you're right. Yes. Oh, that has to be the best ever, oh, right? Oh, my God. A hoof job really. is the worst. Oh, hoof job. Hoof job. <laughs> he doesn't oh love a good God. hoof job. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you spit on the hoof. <laughs> you got to spit help. on the hoof. It doesn't help. It no, just it doesn't, doesn't help. help. Dry to. hoof is no, bad. No, it's a dry hoof. Yeah, yeah, don't go conditioner. That stings. Now, for a female horse, it's shaped perfectly. Mm, it's yeah. amazing <laughs> masturbating as a, yeah. as a mare. Mm-hmm. As a yeah. mare. That's right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> that must be the greatest payday ever, having that old farmer put on that glove and just show up. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Harness deserve. racing is a type of horse racing. It's a subcategory that he is doing. That's what I'm, my screen says. Do they add weight? Is harness racing bigger in the East than it East never Coast? Never even heard of it. And I'm from Jersey. any of those like commercials oh. like for Santa Anita or something? Uh, They'll do uh, it every Santa, once in a while. Yeah. yeah, that sort of sounds sort of It's familiar. kind of stupid looking. Like yeah. it's, it's, it's really in the jockey department. You look super cool on the horse yes. and super lame sitting behind yes. the horse. Yeah. You're not really doing much, right? Except steering him. You... I, I'm sure they would beg to differ. But, <laughs> but no, they, he did not look like he was doing they, anything. They hold their hands up in a very gay, kind of prancy way, and mm-hmm. they sit there, and they still have the outfit on, even right. though it's pretty unnecessary at yeah. this point. Right. They're there, and they're staring at horse ass. The whole time. That horse taking a dump. <laughs> Definitely the horse taking a dump. Ass, you know what I mean? Kicking mm-hmm. mud up in your face. Uh-huh. All right. Do well, they add weight to harness racing? And then where is it big? Yeah, we'll find out. I mean, right. Serbia definitely. If he's if he's yeah. going home to do that. Uh, also, you're going to Vegas. You'll be in Vegas uh, tonight at Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club. The Las Vegas Golden Knights just won their first oh. Stanley Cup. Mm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Las Vegas their first championship. Does the hockey season? Does the playoffs go on too long? Because Way too I, long. I oh, my in, God. So long. I was in Vegas doing Jimmy's show two months ago, and they're like, the Golden Knights are up 2-1 in it the divisional. The and, like, and the hockey They're still, still playing? Yeah. 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 And then they spread out the playoffs where it's like one game's on a Monday, the next one's on a Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. They're the, tired. They need, yeah. They, yeah. Is they need to sport. rest. So this is less than six years after joining the NHL as an expansion team, but Vegas has their first championship. Uh, based on the way of the sign. Uh, so they add weight to yeah. most entries yeah. on horses, and it's based on the size of the jockey. Also, they jerk off all the other horses except for his before right. the race. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Slows them down a little. That's <laughs> right. That's right. So tired. You can't run in your refractory period. No, um, Unless, no you got a little drip well, going on. Chased. If the husband shows yeah, up. Yeah, then you can oh, fucking I'm run like, I'm a, fast. I'm a fucking rabbit. You're running. <laughs> yeah. oh. Adrenaline kicks in, you're gone. Yeah. yeah, that's me. All right. <laughs> yeah, and oh, by the way, uh, both both championships were won over Miami, so not a good, mm. not a good one oh, for Miami. Uh, all right. So next up, we have uh, there's a story about Starbucks. Remember in April 2018, there was that viral video where these two I just black was, guys, I just brought this up to him. That's so yeah. funny that you're doing. Yeah, these two black guys they go into a Starbucks and then they're asked to like, hey, got you got to buy something or leave. And they like, wanted oh, to use the bathroom because they were wait, waiting for a friend. Yeah, we're waiting for a friend. We're gonna use the bathroom. Like no, and they the the person at Starbucks calls the cops on these two guys. So right. films on their cell phone. Right. Huge deal. Um, just a, just a reminder. So, because because of this, uh, Starbucks prompted over eight thousand locations to shut down. So, one hundred seventy five thousand employees could undergo racial bias training. Right. And so, the regional manager of the Starbucks was fired. Mm-hmm. Um, they said it was because she uh, senior leaders and members of of uh, Starbucks all observed this uh, happening, and they demonstrated a complete absence of leadership during the crisis. 
Yeah, so Christ she was fired. Well, also she would not. Out. She would not allow people to order coffee black. I mean, that was a that was kind of a <laughs> that, tip off. Oh, that's fair. You have yeah, to put cream. some cream that's in fair. it. That's fair. Really? Yeah. Oh wow! I didn't mean. know that. Yeah, they're going through cream like crazy over yeah, there. Right. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, but so she was a regional mayor. She wasn't even the one who told. She wasn't them even to leave. there. Yeah. Yeah. She was just right. like so. She got she got fired, and and there's all this other stuff that happened. Like she was told to put another white guy on an administrative leave. So she started doing stuff. Starbucks like around 2019. Yeah. And uh and now this week in a surprising twist, a federal jury in New mm-hmm. Jersey ordered Starbucks to pay her $600,000 in compensatory damages and 25 million yep. in punitive damages. Good. So she got well, 25.6 yes. million. Well, I was reading about it and she's in the right. She actually was one of the people that was trying to change the system and educate people, and she the, did, yeah. and this other this other black manager told her that she had to put one of the supervisors on suspension, and she didn't agree with that. And then that's when I think she says it started all. Everybody started coming against her. She's like, no, he didn't. He wasn't there. He he hasn't. Does this person doesn't have a problem? Yeah. And they they were like, no. And then she just she got fired soon after. Yeah. Um, They're gonna pay her the money in uh, Starbucks holiday CDs. In the- <laughs> and the gift cards they to scratch off, and then yeah, you just, you, they have to reload it every time yeah. she's down. They check the balance. Yeah. You have twenty four million three hundred. <laughs> you can just get coffee with that. Yeah, good. <laughs> I'm not. I have never been litigious, and I always hate the idea of like how many people get sued mm-hmm. in this country over whatever. But here's the deal: if you're gonna fucking fire people for no reason because of some race related thing that didn't happen or some COVID bullshit that should have never happened, then fuck right off. We're way too, and I'm, we're like nuts. I was talking about it the other day when the San Diego guy, the driver for the truck, driving the truck and uh, hangs his arm out the window. He works for the power company. He's like cracking his knuckles. And someone goes, you flashed a white, you know, power sign or whatever. They're just like, yeah, we got to fire you. Like, Oh the, my god! This, I didn't, I didn't oh yeah, that was a big story. It, it, it happens. It happened to Sharon right. Osbourne. You know, it's, it's like you agreed with this guy. Yeah, well, we got to fire you. Like, or the bitches from the View who are like, oh, the Kyle Rittenhouse, the guy's a white supremacist, went over to Kenosha to kill people. It's like you got to get sued. We have to. We have to sue people because you keep firing people and um, and de- defaming them and. We're we're not doing anything about it. You, you people have to fucking think mm-hmm. for a second. You can't just fire employees because <laughs> something happened somewhere. So just because someone says racism doesn't mean you can just start firing everyone mm-hmm. at, at the Starbucks. Like you're gonna have to get sued. Everyone's gonna have to fucking slow their firing roll. Yeah. Like just a little bit. All things COVID. Like they would do stuff like there are things like some cop. Uh, donated, I think out of Denver or something, donated to Kyle Rittenhouse's defense fund and they found out and they're like, well, now you're fired. It's like, you can't just fire people you disagree with or who are going against whatever the wind, whatever way the retarded wind is blowing in this country. Just because everyone became obsessed with race 10 seconds ago doesn't mean you can just fire people over nothing. And it's always like, and also it's, it's never... It's never vetted. It's just like, oh, he did what? He said something that sounded racist. Oh, gone. Mm-hmm. Good. Sue everybody. <laughs> Fuck all you guys. You can't just go through life this way. The uh, So the person that shot the video of the guy who worked for the electric company driving the truck, like hanging his hand out the window, like cracking his knuckles, uh, the person who shot the video and put it out as a flashing white supremacy right. signals regrets it now and wishes he could get his job back <laughs> it's like oh, yeah. fuck right off yeah. asshole who's driving around looking for guys yeah, whose is, hands yeah. are hanging out i mean you understand like they're they're taking pictures of like the naval academy graduation and the guy says they randomly catch people's fingers in different <laughs> positions and they're like oh now we're we're gonna discipline this guy like oh my wow. god 
you're allowed to hang your hand out of a window of a truck you're driving and move your fingers in different yeah. shapes. I know. And my elbow, I've, I've had elbow problems, as you know, for years. Oh. And when I see a friend and I wave to them on the street, it's I, I, ha- oh. I have to do you it like this. Aisle. I can't bend my shoulder. Does oh, that no. make me racist that yeah. I can't bend my elbow? Put your well, arm down, Greg. If some asshole took a picture of you. Right. and then, uh, By yeah. the way, this story does anyone realize we're living in fucking crazy cuckoo land? Does yeah. anybody realize that? And then will somebody <laughs> say something about it instead of like everyone just goes, oh, no, what's mm. they're going to do what they're going to do. <laughs> but the guy feels bad now. Feels yeah, bad. He feels bad. He feels he, bad. You got to take a picture and then you have to post it. Mm. Yeah, why would... Effort, like, yeah. yeah, was somebody driving around? That's what he was doing? and Just like... I don't even know if the guy who took the picture was black or a female or Doesn't matter a white anymore. or whatever. Just, Doesn't. Put it on the internet and let it go. All right. <laughs> so this guy's got to be suing his company, right? Everyone needs to sue everyone, sadly. That's something I would never say in the past. You need to sue everyone to fucking make them stop. It was a outside. Oh, it was a BLM protest. So somebody in the BLM. Um, that doesn't help. <laughs> so did, he must have sued or he got. Uh, he's. Anyway, he is he still fired? Like, and by the way, do you fire people for this shit? And then do you go, want to go back to a company that just fired you for that? Uh, eh, it's a you know union gig. Uh, but <laughs> no, I mean, like, do you want to call him in and go, "Hey, Frank, uh, what was this picture about?" And then you can go, "I was had my hand out the window just and I was like cracking something off, cracking my knuckle. I had a booger on my nail yeah, and yeah. I was like and that, flicking. So what it looks like he was doing? I was flicking, flicking something, off. something <laughs> off. And then you'd go, okay, well, were you flashing a gang, you know, white power sign? And you'd go, no, nah, I don't know what those are. And you go, all right, go back to yeah. work. Like, yeah, yeah. Is that a white power? What is that? I don't. It's not a, he was flicking the a o, booger yes, at the movement. At the back of the protest. We didn't get a picture of him. The OK sign has been turned into a white power sign. Yeah, the AOK sign. If the you like, AOK. If, yeah. you, if you invert it, it. Oh, it is? Yeah. He sued them after white supremacy but, accusation went viral. <laughs> viral. But everybody has pictures of them doing that. Like, like I'm mean, not everybody, but like Joe Biden all? has one. Barack Obama. LeBron, LeBron James. Like, like LeBron right. LeBron James. Like, right. Oh, this is a guy. Oh, this I wonder guy. how much money he got. This is the guy who just did it? The AOK sign? Yeah, I think so. All right, yeah. let's do next door. But either way, everyone sue everyone now Lawyer and up. make them stop doing this. Uh, so this story, it, it, it happened a couple weeks ago, but I want to get your thoughts on this. So there are these two Texas teens. They're facing third-degree felony charges after their senior prank caused multiple students to be hospitalized. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Sounds so, fun. Sounds yeah. like a fun problem. So, well, well, this is what they did. They brought cans labeled fart spray to school. Sprayed it around, and the stench was so bad that the school was evacuated twice in an attempt to find the source while seven students were taken to the hospital for further care, complaining of <laughs> headaches and nausea. Oh, fuck it right <laughs> off. If you're 16 and you further can't handle care. some fart spray. Right. Further care. I would take these kids out somewhere and just put them down like old yeller. Like, there's something wrong with you. I don't like the precedent it sets because my wife could easily press charges. <laughs> Yeah. So they they could face up to ten years in prison oh for spraying the pungent wow. solution around the ridiculous. school grounds. That's ridiculous. So there there's the security cam footage of all these kids covering their their noses and running around and panicking. Jesus. Um. So both teams were arrested. They've been released <laughs> since been released on three thousand dollar bond. Um, I, I've I've seen Kimmel take out an entire bus <laughs> of strangers. An With entire like a real bus. fart, right? Yeah. Like entire a, not a can of fart, a real uh, one. Yeah, not a not a full length school bus, municipal but, style, but Marriott shuttle. Yeah, oh, airport sure. shuttle. Yeah, those are kind of size. You know, right. twenty six seater. Did anybody go to the hospital? Uh, they were For they were further care. <laughs> they were hanging their heads out of the window, to get but pressure. the window. Only open opened from the top. So they to go like that. <laughs> opened like three inches mm-hmm. at the top. You know, <laughs> so they were standing up and shoving their faces out the shuttle, uh, out the shuttle. Uh, for, uh, we're going to, to the fr- Irvine Meadows, okay. and uh, it was which f- smells the same yeah, once you get out of the bus. It, it was filled can. with uh, like rec- record executives and A and R. So <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> he destroyed the bus. <laughs> he destroyed the bus, like. Look, let me just say something. I feel the same way 
uh, about uh, assault as I as I do with fart and something up. If, okay. if if somebody doesn't know it, then you weren't really assaulted. You know what right. I mean? Like when they go, he put his hand on the sh- person's shoulder and told them they can't go through that door. So that, that that's not assault. You got to have a mark, a bruise. You're not assaulted. Right? Don't tell me you farted up a bus if no one's reacting. This was a verbal reaction. Was- this is people screaming, "Stop!" This yeah. is. Po- folks shoving their head out the window yeah. sideways like this is everybody <laughs> them, begging him to stop farting and, and when we finally got back to the Irvine Hilton or wherever we're at when that door opened oh People Ram. left the bus like somebody said. There's a bomb on this yeah. bus. Like they, there was. they blew open. They were, Gasping. They, were, they were crawling over each other to burst out. Like just this li- literally get fresh air. Burst out. Um, the, <laughs> then, then the greatest. They all ended up. They busted out of the bus. You know, they got their fresh air. They got their bearing straight, and all of them had to check into the hotel oh, because they were God. all staying at the hotel. And so then in the lobby, there was a line. It was like the check-in line. It was like five deep and like four or five wide. And everyone was just waiting for the next window. Jimmy crop dusted him oh on, my the God. Way to, <laughs> on the way to the elevator. He was like, I got one more. <laughs> Go get him. And their backs were all turned because they were all facing the counter. He just slid it behind him. Fucking blew him away. It's a terrorist. And if you don't think this is 100% true, a fucking year later, one year later, because they do... Uh, K Rock would do the weenie roast every year at Irvine and like, you know, June sixteenth or something like that. One year later, uh, Jimmy wasn't there. I don't know where Jimmy was, or maybe he's already at the venue or whatever, but I'm on the same shuttle because you you pull into the Irvine Marriott or Hilton or whatever, you park the car, get on the shuttle, the shuttle takes you, you know, backstage to the you know, cause these are all like high roller, you know, A and R guys, record guys, you know, guys, radio guys. The same shuttle was just taking, drop it off, and then you come back whenever you came back on the shuttle and check into the hotel, stay at the hotel. One year later, I'm on the fucking shuttle. And there's a guy on the phone, and he goes, oh, man, last year when I was on the <laughs> shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> this guy destroyed us. One year later. It was an event. Later, it was still, an event. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah, those people never one forgot One year it. later, he's talking about wow. it. Wow. When he Amazing. entered the shuttle, he was probably traumatized. Like yeah, he was probably PTSD. weird. Had to like look around. Like what's going on? I I think the the shuttle driver at some point got the uh, airwick shit out, oh started spraying it. <laughs> Can you remember? I mean, not to remember a fart. How yeah. many farts do you remember in your life that you laid? Um, I remember. My buddy Ray farting in Mr. Bernal's class uh-huh. because he just hit it right off the hardwood seat he was in, yeah. you know, and it was so devastatingly loud that he was sent out like he was disciplined for the fart in the room. And then <laughs> I was disciplined. <laughs> because, How are you disciplined for a fart? Yeah. How about me? I was yeah, just, why? Because I was laughing so you uncontrollably. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. It was so loud yeah. <laughs> that Mr. Bernal, but he didn't know what to do with me because I didn't fart. And he already sent Ray out into the hall. He just told Ray, go stand in the hall and yeah. think about farting. Yeah, you know what right. I mean? What's he going to do with me? Send me in the hall? Who's he sending me in the hall? Me and Ray are just going to fuck around in the hall, right? <laughs> so he made me move. Yeah. Like he's like, old Hoffer, out to the hall. You think about what you did. And Corolla, who won't start laughing, you move from that seat to like <laughs> that seat. Oh like God. I was like, just to do something. Totally symbolic. Yeah, yeah, did yeah. nothing. Right, right. Obviously, the time I farted in the coffee can and got Jimmy to inhale it was a big fart moment for That's me. That's a good one. And then that shuttle bus in wow. 1996. You know, for I mean, farts are really have an effect. There, there are a couple of things. One, if if you bum people out, that always helps. If somebody gets angry. 
That makes oh, it infinitely yeah. funnier. The yeah. router. Like, uh, I mean, there pissed. were some guys on that shuttle who were like, oh. dude, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> It's going out of my mind. There's nothing worse than the indignant, you know, with the dude and bro. Seriously, chill. and they say end up saying stuff like "chill out with the farting" and stuff like that. It just, I was going fucking uh, ape shit. I couldn't maintain. My, I couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. It was the funniest thing ever. Yeah, uh, there was the time. There was a time. Uh, there was a Love Line episode <laughs> when I had. Just hellacious gas, just like once, <laughs> once in a decade type gas. And L- the Loveline studio was about a third the size of this studio, and it's just R- Drew and I like locked in a room with a glass window, like it was like a like a like a fart container, yeah. Essentially, no ventilation, <laughs> no air, none. It's just shut the door, and I just started farting. <laughs> 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 Drew, Drew was like gagging, <laughs> he was literally gagging. <laughs> and and at a certain point, he got a 20-foot mic extender and sat out. <laughs> he took the fucking mic and sat out in the hall. He did the show from a fucking sofa in the, in the, in the entryway of Westwood One because I would not. And every time I started farting, I would just laugh. And then I would start pre-laughing, you know, during the farts. Uh, and just waiting for him So those are it. like, I think that's my Mount Rushmore of blowing gas. My Hall of Fame was I uh, when my son was about maybe seven, we flew from New York to L.A., and like a gentleman, I didn't fart during the flight. Mm. So then we, mm. we get off the flight, we're in the terminal, we go to the men's room, there's a row of urinals, <laughs> and he stands next to me, he's on the short urinal, I'm on the bigger one next to him. Bunch of guys lined up, and I let out six hours of farts. <laughs> it just continued, it had different pitches, yeah. it, was like, it was like Ella Fitzgerald. And so, oh, he and he, s- he started laughing like I've never seen him laugh, and to this day, I have his respect. He, he loves that moment. I was on a commercial flight with uh, Jimmy, and, and, and the, once again, the spray came yeah. out again. I've told Jimmy a bunch, but it, it just bears repeating. If you can, he's had it pulled out on a bus. They Does literally have to just air, air spray. What's going on? He, His fucking colon. They pull yeah. it out and hit him with it on the bus. Yeah. They hit it with him on our Southwest flight. Just she sprayed it at him like like he was a bear. <laughs> was like, she was like fuck you. Like what, let me tell you when, when it gets to the point where they have to go for the spray, they spray with vengeance. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like when the cop finally gets the black guy out of the car. The, the kid gloves are off. Like at this point, I'm pissed. And she like sprayed it in his head, uh. and I said to him. You, you got to fart up a train so you can complete the trifecta. Right. You know, and if you can have yeah. the conductor pull the spray out yep. and hit you on a train, then that's it. Yeah. And you can die. Yeah. And you've completed this thing that no man, no. the triple nope. crown, nope. ground transportation, planes, Plan. trains, automobiles, yeah. essentially. Yeah. I mean, who amongst us? Well, you think you're going to show up at a party and there's going to be three other guys? Yeah, I farted up three forms of transportation. <laughs> no. And no. And it's, by the way, it's the EGOT. you can't just... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's the EGOT to fart. Yeah. You can't just let a, a silent but deadly go in the back of the yeah. train. It has to be codified by them pulling the spray yes. out. Yeah. yeah. Somebody, you did this early and often enough that somebody actually turned spray on you, went and got spray. How amazing would it be if one of us ripped one right now? Oh, man. I I I'm, I'm searching my intestines. I can't I find anything. anything. I know. Well, I search don't. your soul, would you, <laughs> yeah. Fitzy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I won't tell again the story about Big Tad and his brother, T. Chance Tra- Thrasher, destroying. Yeah, I, I would like to say this to all those who are on that fateful 37 minute shuttle ride from the back of the Irvine Meadows to the Irvine Marriott that day, and who are still 
alive, living with the stars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who's it's like who, yellow jackets? Whose kids come in and weep for them openly oh, while they yes. sleep because of this? Because of this, <laughs> the trauma <laughs> of this trauma. Yeah. Obviously, it set in because a year later, a guy showed the phone talking about. about that. Nobody <laughs> forgot about that. Um, for all of those who shared that bus ride. Mm-hmm. I will tell you that uh, Jimmy got his comeuppance in a, in a custom van on a four and a half hour ride from uh, Toluca Lake to Las Vegas, where he and I and, and Big Tad and his uh, stripper brother, T. Chance Thrasher, uh, were destroyed by his older brother who farts on demand and, wow. and never stops and just destroyed, <clears throat> de- it destroyed destroyed it was it was sad it was sad to watch jimmy go down that way anyone who saw was it <laughs> anyone who saw larry holmes fight muhammad ali like 6 years after muhammad should have retired and at yeah. some point he's like just peppering him and he's looking at the ref like come on like stop yeah. you know yeah. you got to stop this this guy's a legend i'm having to fucking keep punching him in the head yeah. that's what it was that's like it was. on that that band it's like <laughs> jimmy lost his fastball yeah. and t chance thrasher it just showed up and um jimmy loaded up on uh, clams and like garbanzo <laughs> beans and stuff and it walked onto the van like <laughs> fucking like i'm going to destroy everybody in right. this van let one go, you know, as we're getting on to the freeway in L.A. And then uh, T. Chance just went, oh, is it on? Is it on? <laughs> oh, my God. Because and, and, he wasn't going to do it. He didn't yeah. even know us, you know. And uh, Jimmy's like, hell yeah, it's on. I hate clams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The guy went, oh, if it's on. And he just like, no, he just, just ripped blew. it. And Big Tad was like, no. You, you don't, you don't, that's just Niagara Falls. You know? He's like, you know what you just did? There should be four hours yeah. of this. He poked the farting oh, bear. You're oh, you fucking, he woke in the sleeping yeah. giant. Yeah. <laughs> that wow. was Pearl Harbor. Oh, God. Oh. That was, that was it. Yeah. And we all shared a room, too, so it didn't. I it think you end. need to have Fart Hall of Fame where you every guest that comes on needs to be asked if they remember any of their farts. Mm, you yeah. it? And there's always going to be the guy that pushed it too hard. He went yeah. he went for the, the brass ring and oh. he shit his pants. Yeah, just a yeah. little bit of shit. A yeah. little short there. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that's a good, Chris, write that down. <laughs> sure. <laughs> because you got your story in uh, mm. the airport. Yep. Mm-hmm. Everyone's <laughs> got one. Yeah, I think I uh, I used to live in a house in the Hollywood Hills that had like 37 stairs between the curb and the front door. And I think I went out. You know when you go out on a date? Yes. I call it. <laughs> We're looking right <laughs> at me. I, I, I it, sort of remember. Right? I, call it, I call it nerve gas where it's like you get a little uh, yeah. bit of nerves yeah. and then you're eating and drinking mm-hmm. and you see a movie or whatever mm-hmm. and you go a long time without mm-hmm. farting. Mm-hmm. And then at some point I got home. And I, I, I hit a, I hit a fart for every step. Wow! Like I was like pop, 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 like all the way to the to the front door. That with was with the big, girl with you. Oh fuck no! I, that's oh. the point is I've been oh, holding it. Oh, I've, been, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been holding it for four four and a half. Did hours. it help propel you up the stairs? Did you find <clears> yeah, it less a little, It does give you. A it miss. was like a little bump draft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like another six seven horsepower. Yeah, I just. I have a fart story. All Not right. so much for me. I mean, I'm farting mm. right now, but um. So quietly. One is I actually watched a fart. I'm sure anyone who has kids, you watch. My daughter was changing her, and I saw something, and I went down, and her, I just saw her butthole go. Pff, pff, yeah. <laughs> right yeah. In my mouth. yeah. I've yeah. never actually <laughs> oh. seen a fart, so that was interesting. Yeah. And right, because I I didn't know what, and all of a sudden I just saw her butt go. Pff, it just opens and lets mm-hmm. the air out, and then it was horrific because baby farts are the worst. Mm. But when I was in high school, I hooked up with one of the hottest guys. He was a wrestler. He was so hot. And we were at my dad's condo. My dad was skiing. My parents were divorced. So that gave me liberty to have a lot of parties when he was away. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I, we were going to do the deed. We were mm-hmm. fooling around. And he was on his back. And I, <laughs> I got on top. <laughs> Um, we did not we weren't having sex yet i don't think we actually ended up because of this and i got on i got on top and as soon as i sat on him he just farted so you could tell he was just we were both like but then we both start laughing and he made a very funny comment he was like you just squeezed it right out of me and then 
I was like, okay, let's get over this. And we start making out again. And he couldn't stop. It was one fart. And it just... No! Boom, 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 boom. And I think I, just, I think I thought he's going to shit my dad's bed. I should probably stop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had the power to make like a, a fartnami, a tsunami of farts. Yeah. Like just... Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. It, it was. I'm gonna ask the yeah. same question. Fitzdog asked me, "Did it propel him?" Uh, it lifted me up. I think the first <laughs> yeah. one definitely. I think I was scared, yeah. so it lifted my ass up. I gotta think this helps his wrestling career. Some guys oh, got yeah. you pinned down, yeah, and maybe, you rip one yes. out. I didn't even think about that because yeah. he was a champion wrestler. Yep, he was. So that's that might why. be. Damn, I didn't even think about yeah. that. You know All what? Right. Yeah, it didn't yes. smell, so it wasn't bad. But I don't think mm. we had sex. Yeah. Um, <laughs> boy, for, first time for everything. Jody Miller, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> 